2006 was Travis's most ambitious year at the X Games. He entered four different competitions, and rumors were flying that Travis had something big up his sleeve. By that time, ESPN and everybody did a good job by hyping it up so much that I think Travis literally didn't want to do it. So many times the media had tried to pressure him into doing that double back at, at X Games. I think it had been going on since 04. And Travis is the type that he just isn't going to back down from a challenge. When people like that pump him up and he thinks about something like that for that long and he doesn't want to let the fans down, I think a lot of that, you know, kind of convinced him into doing it. After he finally threw it in Spokane, he felt like, now I got it, I think I can do it. It was just the right time. Why is best trip the first? When do you learn to calm down? When do you learn to not get a stress? When do you learn to let go of Travis alone and go, well, you're a mom. You don't. To the day I die is the day I stop being a mom is the day that I stop worrying about my son. If you're going for your best trick, the one you're probably going to get hurt on the most, it should be left. They're your child. You let go in other ways. But for them to be hurt or for them to succeed or not succeed, you you feel for them. You, you don't want to see your kid hurt. You don't want them to see them fail. I'm just going to do a one-hander. It's going to be great. Being around Travis at events and stuff like that, it's like, it's like being caught up in this amazing world when it's a fun ride, but sometimes it's scary as hell. You love a kid like that. You care about him. You don't want to see him get hurt, but you want to see him do something crazy because it's a thrill, and somehow you think he'll be okay because he's Travis. It's hard as a rock, dude. <laughs> Make my level, we can't get a piece of equipment back there. Not one that'll do what you want it to do. It's not possible. Given the space, the fact the way this is built, if we build it, it's like taking yourself back out of the corner. There's no way to get equipment in there, so I think you should skip it. It's not possible for us. The officials there at X Games trying to talk him out of, of doing the backflip. I've seen that look in Travis's eyes way too many times. There is no one that's going to talk him out of it. He is going, period. we will see him to jump a little to the left. about it now but that night was pretty um, I'm gonna aim a little left um, it's a little safer a little less chance of riding it out it was something that that definitely could have killed him if I go long I'm gonna die so I'm gonna try to avoid that but I have a better chance of landing it if I go long I was prepared for the worst ready to burst in tears or be happy as I could be every time before he rides or before he you know goes out and does something I get scared to death. This trick, I've done once, I promised myself I'd never do it again, because even with a really soft landing and a huge, perfect step up, I've never been more scared in my entire life. Then my heart dropped, and I saw the guys getting all the tools out from underneath the ramp, and I saw the ramp going up, and they were pushing the ramp back. And then I just got on my hands and knees, and I just started praying. Cameron, just before his mom, Debbie Pastrana, stood up there next to you, she stopped me in the hall, and she said, Jamie, I don't know what to think right now. Travis just told me, Mom, I want to do the double backflip, and if something happens, just remember, I love you, and I'm just having fun. Well, that wasn't too comforting. <laughs> the problem is, if you crash, you die. Um, well, not die, but... You're not going to be happy about it. So, Dad, it's okay. Mom, stop crying. We're, it's, they're a little nervous. My family's just a little bit nervous. I have all the confidence in the world with Travis. And a lot of people always say, you know, 
is he's a risk taker. He's a, I don't see Travis as a risk taker. I look at him as an innovator and creator. He wants to have the sport grow. When they did backflips, he probably brought everybody over to teach them how to do backflips because he wants the sport to grow. He doesn't want it to die out. He is a fan of his own sport. Travis is very calculated, and people don't realize how calculated he is. He is rock, paper, scissors, where they do it. Rock, just do it. Just do it. You can do it. But I like rock, paper, scissors. Okay, whatever, however you want to play it, you're the one that knows. That's Travis. He, he literally could um, make a decision about jumping off a cliff that's, you know, thousands of feet in the air based on rock, paper, scissors. And any time before he does anything, I mean, it's on paper, it's in his mind, he thinks about this for a long time. Because it's Travis and things seem to happen or go wrong, because it's Travis, I was worried. And besides being a mom, you're going to worry no matter what your kid does. They're probably going to hold me for an hour up there and then say, go. So Travis Pastrana, it is time for history. If you are not standing up at home, I would get off the couch. Every rider in the house is watching. The world is watching as Travis Pastrana. came running towards me and people were saying, we heard him say, you know, mom, I'm sorry, thanks for supporting me, I love you, and like that. And I can't tell you how many people the next day or that next weekend, especially moms and a lot of dads, and actually some riders came up and said, boy, my mom was right with you, or I was feeling with you, or I was crying with you, or I was, you know, everything. And, and when Travis was saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, he wasn't saying sorry because he did it. His dad and I support everything he does. Um, he was sorry because he put us through that time of, of uncertainty. And, and that's what he was sorry for. We just are really close, so I, I understood exactly what he was talking about. Man, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. I know my mom was crying all the time. And I tell you what, I've never felt this before. So to pull a double backflip off here, I promised myself after the first time I did it that I would never do it again. Here we are at X Games, X Games 12. And this is just, this is an awesome feeling. And I'm, it shouldn't have worked. And I hope I never do it again. But I got a Guinness World Record, man. Yes. I was pretty sure I dropped in. I said, well, at least it'll be a fun couple spins before I smack the ground and don't remember anything. Evil Knievel used to like jump like some buses, and they used to air that as an event on ABC in prime time. You know, and it's just dudes <laughs> double backflips in the Staples Center, the house that Kobe and Shaq built. I don't think anyone will ever do it as clean as Travis. And I don't think, you know, if a guy does another double back, I don't think it'll have as much meaning. It won't at all. It'll be, it'll be just whatever, you know, just another double backflip, but. To go out and say you're going to double backflip and then do it first try, like Travis did, is it's, it's a, he's a hero, man. That's what I'm saying.